Coucou mes peeps, so time for our last CC slash BB cream review of the bunch before we get on to some more um, foundation review Mondays. So the one that I have for you guys today, the right way up and without blinding you, is the one by Cosmetics. Um, this is, the full name is the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50 Plus UVA UVB Broad Spectrum. That was a mouthful. Um, Sissy sent this to me, or April sent this to me in our box swap. I will link April's channel down below. She's known that I've wanted to test this guy out because everyone talks so highly about it. Um, and I just can't get it, it cosmetics up here, at least not um, without paying an arm and a leg for shipping. So, um, Sissy sent me this one. She sent me it in the uh, shade Light. And I just pulled up the Ulta website, and it's looking like Light is the second um, fairest shade. So there's a fair, light, and then there's medium, tan, and rich. Um, so not a huge color range, but um, potentially things for a decent range of people. Um, I feel like I will talk about... So this... Let's backtrack. There's not a huge color range with five color options, but I do feel like throughout the day... Um, this oxidizes a little bit, which is something to be wary of, but it also kind of settles and adjusts a little bit to the tone of your skin. Um, so it's probably in that way more in line with the CC cream where it's a little bit color adjusting um, as opposed to a foundation which sort of is the color that you get in a bottle or that, you know, is one shade darker as it oxidizes. Um, let's give you what the website says first and foremost and then I'll talk about what I found with it. So it's $38 for just over an ounce of product. Um, again, Ulta, and then you can also get it on the It Cosmetics website. Um, I think QVC does some partnerships with It Cosmetics sometimes. You can get a couple things in a in a bunch, in a pack. <laughs> so yeah, and everything it promises sort of on the website is the things that it promises here. So it's supposed to be anti-aging and hydrating and um, full coverage and an SPF. Now, I can't vouch for whether or not it had an SPF. I've worn it out all week and there's been thankfully some sun this week and my skin hasn't taken color so I'm going to trust that there's an SPF in there. Um, and then in terms of anti-aging I just, I I find that I don't know how to, how I'm supposed to keep track of that so I can't really prove or speak to that one way or the other. But what I will say is that it definitely is full coverage. It is what's on my face today. Uh, we're looking at what, about nine hours we're at this point. Um, but it's still really nice and full coverage. What I will say, though, is that it is not hydrating. Um, I have worn this a couple days this week um, in different circumstances, with and without setting powders, with and without setting sprays, just to make sure that it was the foundation itself and not anything else that was drying me out. But this foundation, or the CC cream, did dry me out, especially around my nose area. Um, I'll bring you in and show you as much as I can. So I don't know if you can tell, but like, do you see how red my nose is on either side. Um, my skin here is feeling a little tight. You probably can't see that on camera though, but you can see um, on either side of my nose is that redness. It, it's really dry and flaky. I know for any of you that have followed me for a while, my skin is usually oily. I've been going through a strange dry patch with my skin um, in where it's not oily and um, if I don't make sure to hydrate it properly, I do get um, sort of flaking patches. So, um, it's interesting because now I can test uh, these foundations from the perspective of someone that has dry skin. And so, that being said, I don't find that this guy is ideally suited, probably, um, if you do have dry skin or you're prone um, to bouts of dehydrated skin, if that makes sense. It does give a really beautiful, like I hope you're seeing it here on camera, but it does give a really beautiful airbrushed full coverage effect without being too cakey but it also does dry you right out. So this is actually probably pretty perfect for someone um, who has oily skin and wants their makeup to last all day. This will be great for you. But if you are prone to dryness, I would say you that use a hydrating primer underneath um, or maybe don't wear it like all day, just wear it for a couple hours at a time because I don't find that my skin gets tight until about two or three hours wear into it. Um, so yeah, that was just sort of what I wanted to show you up close. This does really give a really beautiful, soft, uh, airbrushed, full coverage look. And it will be something that I'll reach for on those days where I'm either really oily um, or where I want my makeup to last for a really long time. I'll just add um, like a hydrating primer underneath 
to make sure that it doesn't dry me out too, too much. Um, but my cousins were over last night. We had movie night, and they're really cute. They're like, you look like Snow White. Like, you just... Oh, all night long, they kept repeating this. So it just gives you really beautiful fairy tale esque um, skin. It's just my one word of caution about it is that it does oxidize a pinch and then it does dehydrate a little bit. The one interesting thing though that it says on this box um, in terms of how to use the CC cream is that it tells you to reapply it every two hours. And that's the kind of direction you'd get from just a normal SPF that you'd put on your skin, right? But this is a full coverage um, foundation. So I don't know why they were expecting that you're going to be able to like lather on more foundation on top of all your makeup. So that was, was a little bit of a head scratcher for me. If any of you guys know how they expect that to work or how you guys make that work, let us know down below. Um, I think that's all I want to say. This seems like quick, like I haven't given you enough details, but I think that's all. Oh, of course. I was like, there's something that I'm forgetting. Let me tell you how it applies. So it is a bit of a thicker, um, I'm going to insert a clip of me putting it on this morning. Um, it is a bit of a thicker consistency for a foundation, so I would definitely recommend sort of a thicker, um, denser brush or a beauty blender to really blend it in um, because it just it's a little bit thicker. You don't need a lot. I use probably about a pump and a half to two pumps to cover my entire face. Um, and yeah, it, just, it blends in really nicely. It has a little bit of a chemically smell that very quickly dissipates. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Um, it sets really nicely. I would say that, yeah, just to be careful because it does oxidize a little bit. Um, and, and I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Yeah, I think that's it. Any questions, as always, leave those for me down below. Let me know if you guys have tested this guy out, what you think of it, how it works for you, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for today. Let's do three points of positivity and we'll be done. My first point of positivity is sushi for dinner. Uh, we went out for sushi and just hung out and it was fun and it was nice and laid back. So that was really pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> my second point of positivity is I watched this movie on Netflix with my sister. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Barefoot? Barefooted? I will try to find the trailer and link it down below. It was one of those very strange movies. Um, where the flow was a little bit off and in normal circumstances it would really bother me but the acting was actually really good and they were really, really, they were really relatable as characters so if any of you guys have watched it let me know down below what you thought um, if not check out that trailer it is on Netflix it's a really interesting movie if I were to describe it to you you would think it was weird so I'm just gonna let you go watch the trailer which I'm hopefully gonna be able to find and I'll list it down below but yeah no it was a nice little treat we weren't expecting we would like it but we did really like it so that was awesome and then my third point of positivity, I'm talking really fast, is we did finally finish Grey's and I cried a lot and I made a lot of <gasps> uh, faces uh, and it was just, it feels like the end of an era. I know season 11 is coming up, but I don't know if I'm going to watch season 11. I just, I don't know. Too many of my favorite characters are gone. So we'll see what happens. But it was nice to finish it and it was bittersweet, but there was some sweetness in the end too. So that is it for me today. Let me know what has been making you smile down in that comment section below. I want to send you guys ton tons and tons of love. Learn how to speak today. Um, and yeah, thank you for being here. And as always, I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.